what is data replication data replication is not in a topic it is just a concept so as per the process flow <clears throat> if you all remember the process says that let's say create a transaction in feeder system right let's say create transactions in our feeder system this transaction and when it comes to transactional data point of view please focus on four transactions only as of now that is sales orders that is sales documents outbound deliveries purchase orders and inbound deliveries please don't think of billing document and uh, gr because these four because these two transactions are related to customs management for customs declaration export declaration and import declaration right so when we create uh, those transaction like sales order purchase order ibd obd so these transactions will be transferred to sap gts and sap gts system must create one replicate document and that document is called as a customs document so customs document is nothing but replica of our feeder system document if you are getting sales order here sales order should be created as a sales order specific customs document or more specifically we can say customs export document if you are creating an outbound delivery gt system should create custom uh, again customs document or more specifically customs delivery document if you are creating po and ibd again system should create customs document don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video but just system uh, does gta system create them um, automatically or there are some settings required so yes we need to understand those settings so which are those settings so with the help of data replication only gta system will be able to create customs document correctly why i am saying correctly because let's say if we are creating a sales order uh, gross weight is missing for the material gross weight is missing and material is the particular product is weight and volume relevant as per the standard item category but if the gross weight or net weight is missing our sales document will be incomplete and if the sales document will be incomplete if we create an outbound delivery system will not allow it will say order is not complete order is incomplete in a similar way until unless our customs document is complete gta system will not allow to perform any of the gta services see we don't know what is spl what is embargo what is legal control what is customs nothing we don't know at all what we know is one thing we know that first we need to have a customs document created and once custom document will get created then only we will think of these services so our first focus is on to create a customs document correctly so how does gta system create customs document correctly based on four things number one is something i'll come back to number one number two is example let's say we discuss that we are creating sales order and document type is or now or is specific we, we are creating sales order standard sales order this is standard sales order should be transferred to gts so we should have a associated custom document. so see like how we have here customs document type Cust uh, i mean uh, sales document type here also we should have a customs document type so how does gta system know that this is sales order related customs document this question comes because even if we create an outbound delivery this will also be created as a customs document if we are creating a purchase order this will also be created customs document even if we are creating an inbound delivery this will also be created as a customs document so all four transactions are customs document and that too in sales order we have many document types outbound delivery many document types po many document types abided many document types how does system know system can create the associated correct customs document based on mapping what mapping document type mapping so in this case what we are doing is we are mapping ecc specific document type to gts specific document type what is gts specific document type that will discuss let's say that is a b c d so what we are doing is a b c d so what we are doing is we need to assign or to a b c d based on these mappings only similarly we are assigning lf2 xyz PO2, let's say ACD, IBD to uh, MNP. 
So when, after this assignment only, GTA system will create the correct associated customs document. And then only system will understand that, yes, this is sales order related customs document. This is outbound delivery related custom document, PO and IBD related customs document. So first we need to, so we need to understand for that document type mapping. How to map that we'll discuss. Third point, why we are using SAP GTS? We are using SAP GTS for our foreign trade processes. Foreign trade processes mean, let's say if we are exporting a product to a customer, we must make sure customer is a good member. That customer is a good member. Good member means not from his nature. I mean, he should be, he should be in a legal business. He, his name should not be part of sanctioned party. He should not be sanctioned by any government agency. How can we make sure? We can make sure if, if we are able to compare our customer name and address with the addresses given in the SPL list, right? So what is SPL list? SPL list is list of blocked members with whom trade is prohibited by law. So these lists are published by government agencies. Now, one of my customer whose name is uh, Mr. X, right? His name is Mr. X. Now, if I'm able to compare Mr. X name in address with the addresses given in the SPL list, if let's say there is a 100% match or there is some, some uh, um, let's say 80% match. So based on our customization, I mean, in the customization, we need to configure that what should be minimum, you know, match is percentage. Let's say we have configured 80%. So if there is a match of 80 or more than 80%, it means Mr. X is not a good member. He's on denied party list. So if he's on denied party list, block him. System will block him. And if the system blocks him, we are not supposed to do business with Mr. X. Simple. So what we are doing, how does system know that this is Mr. X? For that purpose only, we are transferring master data, right? For that purpose only, we transfer all the master data from our feeder system to GTS system. But when it comes to master data, I mean, customer master data, a master, uh, customer master data can play four different types of role. Sold to party, ship to party, bill to party, and payer. And in many cases, we have seen that sold to party, bill to party, payer can be same customer. But probably customer can say that please deliver these goods to some other location, some other person. Ship to party country is different. Or let's take one unique scenario where all four partner functions are different. Sold to party, ship to party, bill to party, payer. Means for all four partner functions, name and address will be different. So we, if we can do business with them only if none of these four partner functions are part of SPL list. So the question is, how does GTA system know? that who is sold to party, who is shipped to party, who is built to party, who is payer, right? For that, we need to map partner function. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Partner function mapping. So as part of partner function mapping, we need to map our feeder system partner functions with GTS partner function. In GTS also, we have partner function. So we are mapping with each other. And with that assignment only, GTA system understands that, oh, this is sold to party, this is shipped to party, this is built to party and payer. And as per our configuration, we assist GTA system will screen all four partner functions, name and address with the addresses given in the SPL list. So that is true with the help of partner function mapping only. Even here, we, we are talking about the only document type. What so document type means header data, right? The structure of document is header data, item data. Forget what schedule line data is of now. So header data means custom master data, item data means material master data, item categories that is. So we can control item data with the help of item categories. So in customs document also similar to ECC transaction, customs document is also having header data and item data. Header data is controlled by document type. Item data is controlled by item categories. In a similar way, customs document in uh, detail system should also determine the correct item categories. We can use any item categories, right? We can use TAN, TAS, ABC, any item category. 
but gta system should be able to determine correct item categories if system is not able to identify the correct item categories again it cannot perform any of the gts services